हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 981 एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सस्टेनेंस ऑफ केमिकल इंडस्ट्रीज एंड ऑफ कोर्स विद दैट एक्सपोनेंशियल पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ हाउ टू सस्टेन बोथ पेंडर वन साइड देयर इज रैपिड ग्रोथ ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज केमिकल इंडस्ट्रीज टू मीट द डिमांड and at the same time there is global growth of human population now it is almost 8 billion and this uh, population needs water food energy and of course for that we are going to get from the same earth same resources same agriculture uh, land so in that case to meet the demand of food and water for food we have to uh, go for aggressive farming and also to uh, modify the uh, food to increase its productivity by genetically modified food to feed 8 billion population and also there is great demand of potable water and when i say potable water then water for sanitation and the water for agriculture there is a serious issue at moment and still out of 8 billion uh, the reports uh, says that up to 2 billion people they don't have even safe uh, water for sanitation 3 billion they are not having Uh, potable water if i say potable means it is safe drinking water and which is free of contamination of different toxic substances and metals like mercury like lead aluminum zinc all this and when we are going to increase the productivity of the agriculture then we have to go to synthesize different type of chemicals synthetic pesticides in order to kill the pests so that we can increase the uh, agriculture product mainly food grain vegetable and fruits so we have to uh, go for establishment of different type of chemical industries to produce pesticide insecticide herbicide there are all chemicals synthetic ones and in order to meet the demand of the protein which is very important for our uh, growth for children growth uh, if they are not getting enough animal protein they will be malnourished and in asia and africa especially they are carbohydrate based uh, population means they are consuming more carbohydrate rather than protein so there is always deficiency of protein in children so for that now we are going for uh, artificial or synthetic proteins rather than natural and now in lab they have started producing the meat the protein that is they are isolating the cell and from that uh, stem cell uh, it is multiplied into muscles and then uh, without slaughter or without blood uh, we are going to have uh, synthetic meat there are 30 labs in the world they are working towards in this direction then demand of energy globally and that demand is we are only uh, potentially we are using fossil fuel that is called petroleum crude oil petroleum and the exploration of crude oil petroleum and using means contamination of marine water as well as air pollution so how far we can sustain that is the serious issue for our climate for our environment for human being for agriculture so we have to look into this matter of this industrial process that whatever growth is there we have to sustain it population growth as well as industrial growth chemical industries especially so these points i am going to give uh, one by one so i have given here the problem of sustainability of population growth and also the growth of chemical industries side by side and how to make the equilibrium 
uh, where we need lot of demand for food grain and water energy and how soil is contaminated air is contaminated so all these factors are together is very important for us and that's why i am discussing the problem of sustainability how to sustain our nature so number 1 is uh, the rapid industrialization and the growth in population i call it exponential growth because today it is almost 8 billion uh, population global population and uh, out of which uh, uh, this 3 billion or uh, 2.5 billion goes to western countries that is europe america and rest of the uh, 5 billion plus goes to asia and africa and when i am saying asia means almost uh, 2.5 billion goes to china and uh, india and if you take only indian population today india's population is 1.4 billion and that only one country's population is more than one continent africa because today is in 2021 uh, the whole africa continent where there are many countries like nigeria ethiopia ghana kenya uh, cameroon and uh, this sudan or together is not up to 1 billion is 900 plus millions so india's population is more than one continent africa and that's why we are discussing here how to sustain our population growth and our resources especially the food water and energy and this is a serious challenge today in 21st century so a population uh, substantially alter the nature of uh, interaction of man and his environment so because of this problem man and his environment is altered and human life is based on circulation of elements is all in circulation in the form of elements either the water energy food carbohydrate protein fat they are all in circulation in the form of elements and which means the exchange of substances between man and nature actually there is a struggle or there must be equilibrium between man and nature everything what we are around us is nature forest mountain water human being insects mi- microbes is all part of nature and we are the part of nature human beings so how we are going to sustain with our nature that is man and nature number 2 the soil water and air are polluted by industrial and domestic waste i have already discussed in previous lecture about the uh, domestic uh, water waste and that is how our uh, kitchen toilet uh, and other human activities indoor they are pumping some industries the waste uh, in the water and how to manage the waste in the water and uh, that is domestic waste uh, forest and land suitable for agriculture diminishing in area and many species of animal and plants are also disappearing i uh, because of the change in the climate environment is not suitable for many uh, invertebrate vertebrates also some plants and they are disappearing from this planet uh, the environment changes so rapidly because of man's activities that the equilibrium established in nature during centuries does not have time to become restored so for centuries whatever equilibrium was established with the nature and man now to again reestablish we don't have time is all uh going out of hand out of control uh and nature being to respond to this action without control and once we are not controlling then nature is going to respond in the form of uh, melting of the glaciers and heavy water here and there 
without season, without time, and that is due to global warming. So many factors are there is because of sustainability of human being and, and natural resources. And number three, the sustenance of mankind, for example, the population uh, demand for, that is the demand of the population for food, drinking water, pure water, pure air, and various kinds of energies. Actually, today, globally, the, 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 the fight is we are all hungry of different type of energies. And today, whatever energy is produced in various form, because energy, if I say energy, energy can be changed one from into another form, it can be transformed solar energy into electrical energy, a fossil energy into mechanical energy. We can transform, we can change one form into another form. So here nowadays, whatever energy is produced globally, the 80% is consumed by only 2.5 billion population who are in Europe and America, 80%. The rest of the 20%, in that 20% energies, whatever is produced, we are 6 billion human beings in Asia and Africa. So can you imagine the 80% is consumed? So that's why their uh, quality of life and their lifestyle is drastically improved and different as compared to Asia and Africa. And unless they shift their policy, that let us share at least, let us make it uh, 60, 40. Let them sacrifice just 20% more energy and shift towards Asia and Africa at least uh, in terms of food, in terms of quality of water. Uh, quality of water, if I say, means water for sanitation and potable water, water for drinking purpose, water for agriculture will drastically improve and the food production will improve because all are governed by energy. Nowadays, a lot of activities are there, how to tap the alternate source of energy, and that is solar energy, with the help of solar panel. And different type of solar panels are now uh, reaching to Africa and Asia. And especially India and China, they are man manufacturing different type of uh, solar uh, panel by extracting the silicon, another element, from uh, sand. And then they are manufacturing uh, polycrystalline and monocrystalline and bifacial mono uh, plate, solar plates like that just to convert solar energy into electrical energy to reach the demand. So that is most important factor how to sustain and various kinds of energies are greatly satisfied by the uh, process of chemical technology. And all these type of energies, chemicals, food, chem pesticides, insecticides, they are all controlled by, managed by, sustained by chemical industries. So that's why I'm saying how to sustain population growth with chemical industries growth, how to maintain the equilibrium. That is the main issue today in 21st century. Uh, supply of the food to the population, and so today there are two main trends in 21st century uh, to supply the food to 8 billion population. There are two trends. One trend is use of chemicals to increase the productivity of the agriculture, means food grain. So first aim, objective of scientists and chemists today is that how to increase the productivity of all agriculture products, whether it is fruit, whether our vegetable, our food grain, or pulses, and to increase the productivity, we have to see go for pesticide, insecticide, herbicide, and even genetically modified uh, uh, food grains and seeds. And for that, we need chemical industries. All the chemicals are involved. The second is the manufacture of synthetic food or artificial food. And I have already mentioned in the beginning that there is a lot of effort nowadays uh, towards the synthetic food. I mean, they are synthesizing meat and they are making approach how to synthesize rice and wheat. 
in the industries rather than cultivating in uh, land. So these are all effort is going on, and that's why nowadays one chemical industry is very much flourishing. That is based on fermentation, alcoholic beverages, different type of drinks, different type of fermented foods are coming in uh, uh, food industries, and food industries they are manufacturing variety of food with the help of food technology and that is on the basis of fermentation. So number four is, that is the productivity of agriculture can be increased uh, by manufacturing and using highly effective uh, fertilizers, pesticides and plant growth if uh, stimulators. Plant growth stimulators means mainly they are hormone and enzymes. So these are all chemical uh, processes uh, are produced by chemical industries like fertilizer. Urea is a very effective uh, fertilizer to provide up to 38 to 40 percent nitrogen to plant growth. And the second one that is pesticides, they can take care of insect and pests which are damaging our crop, the effective ones, and also uh, the modified, genetically modified uh, uh, plant uh, materials, and also some hormones and enzymes are used for their growth. Uh, number five, the pesticides are mostly organic compounds and are used to protect plants from insects. Uh, the pesticides are usually in the form of powders and they are powders and with water they form good suspensions and that suspensions are used uh, in the agriculture field. Number six, the production of synthetic or artificial food is one of the most important uh, development in the recent history of the chemical technology. Today, uh, 2021, lot of labs are there in, globally I have already mentioned, up to 30 labs they are involved, how to synthesize artificially meat or different type of proteins to meet the demand of 6 billion population in Asia and Africa, where uh, I mean, uh, up to uh, billions of the children are malnourished. They are suffering from a deficiency of protein intake. And you will be surprised to know there are different sources of protein like animal and plant and the other sources like egg. If I am giving you the egg, in Western countries like Korea, Japan, USA, per year per capita consumption of eggs are 300 to 400. And if we are coming to India, I have given the example, is in single figure, eight or nine eggs per capita. In Nigeria, it is only in double figure, 12 or 20. So this is a very big question mark of uh, protein because we don't have, we cannot afford the protein. It is so costly to produce. And that's why it is high time for uh, chemical technology, chemical industries to start producing all these synthetic or artificial uh, food in the form of protein. Technology and the main increase in the population, the world is expected to increase uh, to be in the Asia and Africa. Today it is 6 billion people. Uh, so 6 billion people in 2021 is in Asia and Africa and 2 billion people, they are in Europe and America. So the 75%, 80% goes to Asia and Africa and there the millions of children are malnourished. They are suffering uh, from the shortage of food and protein. Uh, and the 75% of the population of these countries today uh, receive only 55 percent or less of the protein and they need 
the shortage of the food products is going to be most serious problem uh, for mankind and on the chemical industry is capable of increasing uh, the production of food grain, meat and other kind of proteins. Uh, the limited area of agricultural land and impossibility of an infinite intensification in agriculture production. We have limited, this earth is having limited land for all of us, for agriculture it is limited, it cannot be infinite with all resources, it's not possible, that is where, where we cannot sustain. So we have to go to uh, chemical industries, chemical technology to produce all these items in the industries, rice, wheat, meat. All products, protein, carbohydrate, fat, all in industries. Of course, many are produced nowadays. Food industry is very advanced globally. Fat is produced, carbohydrate is produced, vegetable proteins are produced. Meat we are trying to produce. An uh, important to the problem of the manufacturing synthetic or artificial food. Synthesis of the uh, various types of proteins, including meat. So with this I will stop and see this.